Horus the child, also known as Harpocrates, holds a significant place in Egyptian mythology as the personification of the sun, symbolizing its daily renewal. The name Harpocrates is derived from the Egyptian Harpakurd, which translates to Horus the child. This association with the sun and its rebirth aligns with the depiction of Horus as a youthful deity, symbolizing the eternal cycle of life and death. In Egyptian art, Harpocrates is often depicted in the form of a child, bearing the physical attributes of youth and innocence. His representation closely mirrors the hieroglyph for child, emphasizing his youthful nature and connection to the concept of renewal. As the personification of the sun, Harpocrates embodies the idea of rebirth and the cyclical nature of time, reflecting the daily rising and setting of the sun. However, the interpretation of Harpocrates' symbolism evolved over time, particularly with the influence of Greek and Roman cultures. In later depictions, he came to be associated with the concept of silence and secrecy, with Greek and Roman poets attributing these traits to the youthful deity. This reinterpretation led to the transformation of Harpocrates into a god of silence and confidentiality, diverging from his original role as the personification of the sun and its rejuvenation. The question arises, is Horus the child truly synonymous with Harpocrates, the god of silence and secrecy? The evolution of Harpocrates' symbolism from his original association with the sun to his later characterization as a deity of silence raises intriguing possibilities about the interplay between Egyptian and Greco-Roman mythologies. In Egyptian mythology, Horus the child is revered as the son of Isis and Osiris, representing the eternal cycle of birth, death, and rebirth. His youthful form embodies the unending renewal of life, symbolized by the daily rising of the sun. As the personification of the sun, Horus the child holds a central role in Egyptian religious beliefs, embodying the cyclical nature of time and the perpetuity of existence. On the other hand, the Greco-Roman interpretation of Harpocrates as a god of silence and secrecy diverges from the original Egyptian symbolism. The association of Harpocrates with silence and confidentiality reflects a departure from his primary role as the youthful representation of the sun. This transformation raises questions about the cultural exchange between Egyptian and Greco-Roman mythologies, as well as the adaptation of deities to fit the evolving beliefs and values of different societies. The depiction of Horus the child as the personification of the sun aligns with the fundamental principles of Egyptian mythology, emphasizing the cyclical nature of time and the eternal renewal of life. His association with the sun's daily rebirth underscores the importance of celestial phenomena in ancient Egyptian religious practices, highlighting the significance of the sun as a symbol of vitality and regeneration. The reinterpretation of Harpocrates as a god of silence and secrecy within Greco-Roman traditions introduces a new dimension to the deity symbolism, reflecting the cultural exchange and adaptation of religious concepts across different civilizations. The transformation of Harpocrates' symbolism raises intriguing questions about the fluidity of mythological narratives and the ways in which deities are reimagined to align with evolving cultural beliefs and values. <laughs>